Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you all are being blessed on this terrific Thursday. Amen. I am going to allow everybody to just still come on. Thank you guys for coming on. I see you guys are joining. I hope you all have had a fantastic, fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching See La Spot on tonight for joining us. We thank you for all of the people that's just actually coming on. God bless you. God bless you. I see Brashe is on. God bless you, Brashe. Hey, Carnes. God bless you. Hi, Miss Marie Washington. God bless you. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic week. Stop the press. Stop the press. Who is on? Everybody know when I do that. My bishop, Bishop Antoine Michael Jasmine, is actually on on tonight. We want to thank the man of God for gracing us with his presence. Amen. We hope that he is tremendously blessed. If you have not seen the live that Bishop Jasmine just did, I did share it on my Facebook page. Of course, he is the prophet of 
Choice International Ministries. He is a tremendous blessing to Sila, and we are excited about what God is doing in this season. Amen. I just want everybody to start coming on. Hey, how you doing, Minister Sheila? God bless you. Yes, woman of God, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marie Washington, to God be the glory. Amen. Thank you guys for coming on, for coming on. I'm just actually just kind of waiting for you guys to keep coming on. Miss Andrea, you know I'm unconventional. I need y'all to push that table back. Amen. So, I hope that you all have been having a wonderful week in the Lord. Huh? I'm telling you. I'm actually, I'm hanging out with you guys by myself on tonight. And I'm just kind of just, you know, just waiting for you guys to come on. I'm just going to kind of be calm on tonight. Amen. Can I just kind of be real on tonight? Y'all see I got my soldier rag shirt on. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to war tonight. Amen. But I just wanted to talk to everybody. I know that everybody is actually calming down. I know that the uh, holiday season is actually kicking in. We've been getting some cold weather. So I'm just letting everybody log in. Thank you so much for coming on. God bless everybody. I'm glad, Brashe, that you had a fantastic week. To God be the glory. Amen. So we got a lot going on. We still our productions incorporated. For, but for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. I'm the founder, director, and playwright of CELA Productions Incorporated. And I want to thank you for tuning in on tonight. Amen. So we come on every Thursday at 8 p.m. We were a little late on tonight. We apologize, but God is still good. Amen. So with that being said, we have a fantastic show. That's getting ready to happen right here at my church family, Choice, the event place. Lord. I'm telling you, it's at 516 East Airline Highway. It is Ophelia. How many people know that Ophelia is my middle name? I'm telling you, it's a wonderful show. We just had the first episode, which was on this past Friday, and we're going to have episode two. So if you missed episode one, of course, we will catch you up. But if you would like to come out and look at Ophelia to just watch it, to enjoy, it's a love story. So how many people ever been in love? If you've been in love, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Oh, that is wonderful. Thank you so much for the hearts. I'm telling you, it starts at 5 p.m. Doors will open at 4 p.m. on this upcoming Sunday, November the 17th. I hope that you're able to make it. The tickets are $25 and $30 at the door. So if you would like to purchase a ticket on tonight, just go to CLOPProductionsInCorp.org, which is our website. And I'm telling you, purchase your ticket. Be here on time because we will start on time. Amen. Oh, all right, Miss Marie. I will look forward to seeing you, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you. I see you sometimes with your grandbabies on uh, Facebook, so I hope that you are doing well. Amen. So I'm telling you, God is wonderful. God is a wonderful God. We are casting for won't he do it. How many people know God will do it? We're going to talk about that tonight. God can do anything. How many people know that God can do it? God will and he can. Amen. And so we are going to be casting for Won't He Do It. If you would like to become a cast member, try to audition for Won't He Do It. Call 225-623-9449. Again, that number is 225-623-9449. All auditions have to be scheduled. Amen. I'm telling you, you guys are coming on, giving me a lot of hearts. Thanks for the love on tonight. I'm telling you, my actually, let me tell you, I was actually coming here and I said, oh, I, always, I always ask God, I said, you know, he gave me several scriptures and I, 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 I study a lot and I said, God, what do you want me to say tonight? And he just want me to be real laid back with you guys to let you know that he answers prayers. Amen. God will answer prayers. So we're coming from Jeremiah 33 and 3, and we're going to talk a little bit about Psalm 77. Amen. So I know you guys are still coming on. We are actually casting also. We're casting for Ophelia. Also, I have uh, a want for another part. So if you're interested in maybe becoming a cast member for Ophelia, call 225-623-9449. That's 225-623-9449. Amen. Miss Renitra is off on tonight, so I hope I'm doing all right. Amen. <laughs> they do have me spoiled, but I think I can handle it. 
Oh, yes, Miss Marie. Absolutely. God can do it. Yes, he can. The Lord can do it. Miss, you know what? We have a lot of duplications going on on the thread. What is that? It was doing that last week. Okay. I don't know. Y'all know I'm unconventional. I like everything perfect because God is a God of excellence. Amen. So with that being said, we have Ophelia happening this Sunday. It will bless your life. I promise you it will bless your life. It's not a real churchy play, but it has this realness to it. And it goes into real types of relationships. That's why it's a love story. Again, that's this Sunday. It's going to start at 5 p.m. Doors will open at 4 p.m. Do not miss it. Right here in Laplace, 516 East Airline Highway. Right here at Choice the Event Place. CEO of Choice the Event Place is Bishop Antoine Michael Jasmine. If you want to do an event, you need to call. Call. I mean, Elder Greg, come give me the number for the events place so I can make sure we actually uh, advertise that if you would like to have a wedding you may want to have a party or something like a reception or whatever have you the events place is always available it's very elegant here so i'm just kind of promoting the events place and we have our plays here and you know that sila is elegant amen so we love it we are just blessed to be able to be here at choice international ministries and, and being able to use the event place amen so god is continuously blessing us with the king which is bishop jasmine so with that being said i'm waiting for that number elder greg give me the number to the events place so i can help and uh you know kind of advertise that so with that being said i hope that everybody is doing well i'm just kind of just shooting the breeze tonight even if you want to ask me a question i'm open tonight this is something new that i'm doing you know, I always, you know, come on and I preach and I preach at you guys. Thank you so much for this card, woman of God. So the events place number is 985-651-7844. If you would like to have a reception, a wedding, bridal showers, baby showers, parties, pageants, all of that, family reunions, balls, business meetings, church events, training classes. We got a lot of people that's doing training classes and trying to, you know, even have a conference. If you want to have a mid-size uh, mid conference, you can have it right here at Choice of Event Place. And that number that you need to call is 985-651-7844. And y'all like what I'm saying because y'all giving me some hearts. Choice of Events Place, I'm going to tell you, I would not recommend Choice if it was not elegant. Sila would not even have a play here if it was not elegant. It has an elegant feel. The anointing lives in the building, even during an event. Amen. So if you are interested in having, like I said, a wedding, a reception, bridal shower, whatever that may be, a small mini conference, a training, call 985-651-7844. See that? Somebody was pulling on me. I think somebody needs somewhere to rent for the holidays. Amen. So with that being said, I thank you guys for coming on. We are still looking for coaches for Javon Ophelia's act. My God, if you are a coach for Javon, for like in performing arts or singing, dancing, all of that, please call 225-623-9449. We just hired two more coaches on this past week, and I need one more coach. I need a dancing instructor, and also I am still looking for an acting instructor as an, art, as an alternate person. So if you would like to be a coach with Javon Ophelia's call 225-623-9449. Hello to people coming on. Let me just give my little shout outs. I speak to everybody come on the thread because I think it's an honor and a privilege that you have decided to join me for CLA Spot. You could have been doing anything else, but you decided to come out and hang out with me. So to that, I am grateful. Hello, Aaron Sterling. God bless you. Tylius Dennis, thank you so much for watching. Hey, big bro from California. How you doing, John? I'm telling you, Facebook said we've been friends. I don't know how long. I think it would have said six years. God bless you and your lovely mother, Miss, Miss Elmira, my second mom. God bless her. John, thank you so much for coming on. Hey, Minister Lisa, how you doing? God bless you. I'm waving at the bishop, y'all. The bishop is in the building. He leaving out. I'm telling you. He, he airing and he in the building. I'm telling you. So with that being said, thank you so much, Minister Lisa, for watching. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. God is amazing. Am I right about it? 
The Lord is amazing. I'm getting ready to go into the preach shortly. But again, I want to talk about Ophelia this Sunday, November 17th at 5 p.m. Doors open at 4 p.m. Amen. If you would like to be a coach for Javon Ophelia's Act, call 225-623-9449. That's a performing arts coach. It can be acting. It can be singing. It can be dancing. If you are well-versed and trained in those areas with those skills, call 225-623-9449. And also, casting for Won't He Do It. If you would like to cast for the upcoming show that's going to be at the Orpheum in New Orleans, Louisiana in 2020, call 225-623-9449. All right, so since we got all the preliminaries out of the way, amen, I'm good. Hey, John, thank you so much. Thank you for your blessings. Oh, thank you, Miss Andrea. Remember, we have the prayer call, Sila Serenity Prayer Call. I'm telling you, it was absolutely tremendous on last Tuesday at 5 a.m. If, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you say, God, why am I up? Why am I up? God is calling you to prayer. I'm telling you, if you want your prayers answered, you get on that prayer call. I promise you, the Lord will lead me to hit one of your areas. I promise you. 5 a.m. every Tuesday, we are on the prayer call. The flyer information is on my Facebook page. Can you all give me the number for the prayer line, please, and the access code? 5 a.m. prayer, the number five, the time of favor. Oh, God, see, I feel that in the Holy Ghost. I'm trying not to preach. I'm trying to keep myself down. 5 a.m. prayer call, Selah, surrender, serenity prayer. God, give me how the wisdom to accept the things that I cannot change. Oh, see, that priest about to come out. I'm trying to hold it in, amen, because I want to talk to you guys. I want to calmly talk on tonight. But if you would love to come on the prayer line, if you need God to move on your behalf, if you need God to do something for you, if you need God to be able to perform something, last week I preached it out. God is getting ready to do a great performance concerning you. The prayer line is 218-339-7800. That is 218-339-7800. The access code is 228-713. Access code is 228-713. If you go on my, my thread on Facebook, you will be able to see that flyer, amen? Make sure you get up. Get up and be on the prayer line. Five, the number of favor, huh? Divine favor at that time. Do you know that God comes to the earth realm between three and six? The fourth watch, huh? That is the fourth watch. The fourth watch happened when Jesus walked on the water with the disciples, amen? So that is a, that is a divine time. That is a divine time, the number five, the number of favor. That is a divine time to pray, to get your prayers answered. If you would like for me to pray for you, be on the prayer line every Tuesday at 5 a.m. Set your alarm clock. Don't miss it. Why go another day and you haven't seen it? Huh? Why go another day and you have not seen the manifestation of the blessing that you've been praying about? You will only be able to see the manifestation of the blessing unless you pray. Pray is the vehicle that you drive as God's servant to get you to the manifestation so that you may receive the blessing. Oh, see, I don't want to preach. I'm trying to keep myself calm on tonight. Is that all right? I'm telling you, thank you so much for watching. Mrs. Collie Scott, hey, classmate, God bless you. Mark, Mark Anderson, God bless you, man of God, for gracing us with your presence. Mrs. Barbara Lewis, God bless you. Conrad Omar, God bless you. Hello, Reverend Burl. I hope that you are well, sir. God bless you. I have not talked to you since my mother's funeral, but I hope that you are well, and I hope that I hope that the church family is well. Amen. I'm telling you, Reverend Burl, it's good to see Reverend Burl on tonight. God is faithful. Hmm? God is faithful. That's what I come to tell you tonight. God is a 
faithful God. God says in Jeremiah 33 and 3, he says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great, great and mighty things in which you do not know. If you know that scripture, give me some hearts. If you know the scripture, I want you to give me some hearts. God says that I am getting ready to do it. He says, if you call unto me, if you call unto me, I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty, mighty things in which you don't even know. God will bring you places you never would have dreamed of. God is a faithful God. Tonight we're going to talk about 33, 33 and 3, 33 and 3. Oh, the number of restoration, a divine number. Mm. Hmm? 33 and 3. Jeremiah 33 and 3. Huh? Calling to me. First you got to call him. You got to call him. And he said, if you call unto me, I will answer you. God is a faithful God. That's what I'm trying to get you to see on tonight. How many feel like you done called on the Lord and he has not answered you? Huh? God says, if you call unto me, I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. My God, God is a faithful God. But we must be patient and wait for him to act. Just because you don't see it, doesn't mean that he's not doing it. Am I right about it? Just because you don't see it, huh? In the, in the earth realm, it doesn't mean he's not doing it. But you should have spiritual eyes to know that he has already done it. Am I right about it? When we call unto him and he answers us, it is a finished work. Oh, see, see, finished strong in 2019. Finish strong. The things that you have asked God for, the Lord says, I've already done it. God says, when you call unto me, you must call unto me in faith. You must call unto me. When you call me, you must already know that I've already done it. God will do anything for us that's according to his will. When you call unto the Lord, don't you know that if you renew your mind with this word, that your thoughts are his thoughts? So when you call unto him, he will answer you. Oh, see, I'm about to run because I want you to catch that. I want you to catch it and I want you to keep it. Huh? I need you to catch it and keep it. I like to say that. I need you to catch what I just said and I need you to keep it. God says when you call unto me, you must already know that I have done it. Because without faith, it's impossible for me to move. Huh? Come on, you know my favorite scripture. He that cometh to God, come on, must first know that he is. That he is God. And that he is a rewarder. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. God says, if you call unto me, I will answer you. Because your mind is renewed by the word of God. The thoughts that you have are not your thoughts because he's renewing your mind daily. So the thought that you get is from him. So when you call unto him and, you, and he says, I will answer you, you are asking him something he's already said yes to. Oh, I want y'all to give me some thoughts on that. I just bless my own self. I just bless my own self because God don't want no doubting Christians. You can't be up one day and down the other. Huh? If you're up one day and down the other, you got to catch yourself. You got to correct yourself. Huh? You can't be up one day and down the other. God says that an unstable man will not receive anything from the Lord. Come on, James. Come on, James, the first chapter. Am I right about it? So if you call him, you call him knowing that he's already done it. God has already done it. What is that thing you want him to do? Amen. Come on, John. John said, preach about it. Oh, I'm going back to it because I'm pulling. Somebody pulling on me. God says, call unto me. When you 
call me, the thought has come from me, God says. So if the thought has come from me, I have already done it. It's already done. You're just waiting to see the manifestation of the blessing. You are just waiting to see the manifestation of the blessing. You are just waiting to enter into your land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, God is mm -mm good. Am I right about it? Huh? The land of milk and honey is sweet. And what it says, he's sweeter than a honeycomb. Oh, I want y'all to receive that. I want y'all to receive it. Come on. I want y'all to receive it on tonight. God says that we must ask for him. God, he says, I know your need. But I need you to speak your need out of your mouth. You have to speak it. You got to say, Lord, I need for you to pay this mortgage. Lord, I need for you to do this thing for my family. Lord, I need for you to restore my marriage. Lord, I need for you to touch my wife. I need for you to touch my children. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God says, if you call unto me, I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things in which you don't even know. That means you're going to live in the overflow. Oh, see, I'm trying to stay calm on tonight. God says, I'm going to show you great and mighty things. And what you don't even know. That means he's going to answer the thing which you're calling him for. And then he's going to give you things you don't even know about. The overflow. Oh, somebody put overflow. Say, I'm living in the overflow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right, Brashe. Say, I receive it. Say, I am living in the overflow. God says, I'm living in the overflow. Speak that thing. You got to prophesy. Life and death is in the power of your own tongue. Come on, Proverbs, the 18th chapter. Huh? Huh? Verse 20. Is it 20? Huh? Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Check that. Make sure I got that right. It's 20. 21. That means that's the other scripture is the marriage scripture. Uh huh? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You activate you activate the blessing by what you say. You kill the blessing by what you say. Huh? You done called on the Lord. You done, you done called God. Hmm? And God says, I'm going to answer you. Oh, oh. The Lord said he's going to answer you. And then you come back with your own mouth and say, the Lord is not going to do it. Oh, well, you just killed it. It's not that God didn't answer you. You killed it with your mouth. You spoke death over the situation and you killed it. You killed it yourself. We have to be careful what we say. You ever told a lie and it came true? Because you put life to it. We activate things by what we say. We have to prophesy what we want God to do. We got to speak to the situation. You need the money. I need it, God. I need the money for my family. I need money for a car. I need money for my children's tuition. I need money to give my wife. I need money to help my husband. God says, if you call unto me, I, I, the Lord say, I, the Lord thy God, will answer you and show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. Oh, see, y'all working me tonight. I didn't want to sweat. Y'all are working me on tonight. Because God wants us to believe and know that when we call unto him, he has already answered. Well, the Lord taking 40 years. So what? He's faithful. He's a faithful God. And if you don't get it within 40 years, that means you wasn't supposed to have it. God is time. He lives inside of time and outside of time. But God gives us the blessing at the best time. Oh, see, that preach, Elder Greg. Am I right about it? God will give it to you at the best time. You are getting ready to live the best days of your life. Say, I receive it. Oh, see. See, see, I need y'all to get it. I need y'all to get it. You have to live in the overflow. God is speaking to his people on tonight. 
God is tired of us calling him. And when he answers us, we reject it because of doubt. Come on, doubt. We got to kill doubt right now. We have to kill doubt. The devil don't make you doubt. You make your own self doubt. Am I right about it? Huh? We have to kill doubt tonight. Oh, God, help my, help my unbelief. Say, God, help my unbelief. It's hard for me to believe. God, I want to believe to receive. I want to believe to receive. I have a need, God. I want to believe to receive. But what I see, oh God, help my unbelief. That you may move on my behalf. That my faith will be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Am I right about it? See, I'm right. I'm right tonight. Because the Lord is ready to bless his people. We are living in the greatest dispensation of the manifestation of third heaven blessings right now. Am I right about it? We are living in the greatest dispensation when heaven is wide open to drop the blessing. And all you have to do is believe to receive. But if you have doubt, then you will have a drought. Oh, see, I like to rhyme. If you have doubt, you will experience drought, a land of famine, nothing there. If you have doubt, you will experience a drought. Oh, I want you to say it on tonight. I want you to get it on tonight. It's not by might. Oh, I, I hear the scripture in my spirit. It's not by might, nor by power, but it's by my spirit. Come on, Zerubbabel. Zechariah 4 and 6. God says it's by my spirit I will do it. God says it's by my, my Holy Spirit that I will, I will perform it for you. Oh, see, I want y'all to catch it on tonight. Oh, my God from Zion. Dana, thank you so much for coming on. Dana James, Richard, thank you so much for coming on. Anointed voices of praise. God bless you. Yes, John, that's right. Amen. Brashe said, I'm living in the overflow. Betty Malone song. Come on. We are living in the overflow. God said, I'm not going to only answer the, 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 the prayer, the request. I am going to give you things that you don't even know about. What he say in his word? He said, I will give you houses you didn't build. Oh, see, that's property. He says, I will give you houses that you did not build. My God. I want y'all to get it tonight. Isaiah 33 and 3. Isaiah 33 and 3. Some of you all can't receive a blessing because you don't tithe. Well, tithing in the Old Testament is in the New Testament too. Am I right about it? You have to tithe. You have to tithe your offering. You have to sow seeds. Seeds will speak to the gate of your enemies. A seed will fight for you when your faith can't fight. Oh, oh, see, I'm going to run right now. Oh, my God from Zion. Oh, God blessed me real good today. He blessed me real good today. God is faithful. I, I was in a situation. I said, God, I am your servant. I said, you are the most high, awesome, and mighty God. I said, there is, there is none like you. Oh, I, I said, I am your maid servant. I said, you said in your word that you will never make your servant ashamed. I said, you give me the vision. You give me the vision. So I know you have the provision. I say, God, I need you to do it today. Am I pushing? Reminding him of his word. He said, I will never make pain. I say, God, I put Javon, Ophelia Butler, I put it in the south wind. The wind of provision. Oh, oh, see, I'm about to run. I say, God, I put my name in the south wind. Decree. The anointing. You have to know how to pray. Hey God, I put my name in the south wind. I see you all. I see you told me that you will provide all of my needs according to your riches. Hey God, you said it. I see I 
maid servant. I called unto him and God is El Shaddai. Hi, Gregory. Almighty. Am I right about it? God is faithful. Am I right about it? When my Why do I sow thousand dollar seeds? Because when I get in a situation, I can go to the Lord and make a withdrawal. See, some of y'all banks are empty with God. That's why you haven't seen it. I'm not giving that man my money. I'm not giving that woman my money. No, when you sow a seed, you give God the money. The spirit that's on the man has nothing to do with your money. You're blocking your own self. If that man wants to be a thief or that one wants to be a thief and you will be poor on the side. We have to know how to sow seeds. Our seeds can work for us when we can't work. I sow a seed. I give everything and God comes with a double fold. Hey Stephanie Bridget. Hey Miss Bridget. God bless you, Sorrow. I hope that you are well. Amen. Like the soul. So when I start, that's when I start seeing God really move in my life. When I start showing church, Lord Daddy go again. It asking for money. But when God starts showing me his hand, when he start teaching, when he start teaching me seed time and harvest, he says, when you call unto me, I will answer you. But you have to seed in the ground. Oh, see, I'm not going to preach on seed time and harvest. But when you sow a seed, it takes time for the harvest. When a tree is growing, it don't grow up the next day. You have to plant seeds in the ground. You have to plant seeds in the ground. I don't want y'all to catch it. I want to catch it on tonight. There are prerequisites when you're serving the Lord. He says it in Jeremiah 33, he says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. The Lord says, call unto me in prayer. And I have already done it. I have already answered you. That's the way it works. There are prerequisites when you serve God. God is a God of order. How what it says in 1 and 19, if ye are willing and obedient, you will eat. You will eat the good of the land. If you are obedient, if you do what I say to do, you will experience the abundant life that I promise you. God is a faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness. Lamentation says it well. We have to be obedient servants of the Most High God. God says, I've already did it for you. But what have you done for God? God requires us to serve him. How do we serve God? Through obeying the word. See, y'all making me work hard tonight. I'm blurry. I'm blurry. I'm telling you, y'all are making me work hard tonight. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying on tonight. Jeremiah 33 and 3. For those that's just coming on, God bless you, woman of God, Lynn Baker. God bless you. I'm telling you, thank you, Wallace, for coming on, man of God, the gardener. I'm telling you, the Lord says, call her to me. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. You have to be obedient to the word of God. You have to have the faith to believe that he's already done it. He that coming to God must already know that he is. What is that thing you're waiting for on tonight? That has not broken. Break it with a seed. I double dare you to sow a $33 seed tonight. Oh, see, 
Oh, I felt that in the Holy Ghost. A simple seed will break the back of poverty off of you. A simple seed of 33, a seed of restoration. God, give me back my life. Am I right about it? Oh, my God, from Zion. You have to sow into good ground. Everybody that sows into seed our productions get a hundredfold, a Deuteronomy 1 and 11 blessing, a thousand times more. My God from Zion. I want you to catch it on tonight. I want you to catch it on tonight. If you need to sow a seed to break the things that's going on in your life, sow it into seed our productions. Sow it. This is a sowing season for our organization. I've never got on to talk about sowing seed, but God is now allowing me to share the anointing that it rests upon Selah with others. And to him, I give him glory. For six years, I never allowed anyone to really sow seeds into Selah. But this is a season. God is blessing the oil of Selah. If you would like to sow a seed on tonight, it may be for your marriage. It may be for your children. It may be for a job. It may be to pay a bill. Whatever it may be. Go right there to Cash App or on the online. What is it? Seal our productions in corp.org. Your seeds will speak to the gates of your enemies. When I called upon the Lord today, he answered me. And he showed me great and mighty things in which I did not know. God is a faithful and awesome God. I want you to catch it on tonight. I tried to stay calm tonight because I want everybody watching to catch it. I want you to catch it and I want you to keep it. I don't want you to just get on and watch Sila Spot. I want you to receive what I am saying because God is ready to see your life transformed like never before. God wants you to live the best days of your life. The Lord is giving prerequisites and what he is requiring in this season. The Lord wants to see you blessed, blessed, blessed. God wants you to enjoy the abundant life that he has promised you. He says in Jeremiah 33 and 3, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things in which I do not know. Oh, Lynn Baker, you're staying in my spirit. You're staying in my spirit, woman of God. Whatever that thing is God is trying to do for you, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. God can. Oh, I feel the anointing. I feel the glory. God can and he will. I don't care. Is there anything too impossible for him? Thus says the spirit of the most high God. Oh, Lynn Baker, receive it on tonight. God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. In Psalm 77, he says, if I did it in the days of old, shall I not do it again? Go read it. In Psalm 77, he reminds us of the great exploits that he did for the Israelites. And he said, will I not do it again? If God has blessed you already, if God has answered you in prayer already, will he not do it again? This thing that you're concerned about, Huh? I bless it myself. The thing that you're concerned about, God says, I've already done it because you have already called to me. Now you have to wait to see him act. God is getting ready to do a great performance concerning you. Oh, I want you to receive it on tonight. My God from Zion. Hey, Ryan, thank you so much for coming on. I want you to receive it on tonight. I want you to receive it, and I want you to keep it. God is a faithful God. I'm getting ready to get off. I got my cue. I'm getting ready to get off. God said, if you call unto me, you call unto me in faith. Because without faith, it's impossible for me to move. And after you have called me in faith, if you become wavering, call unto me again. And say, God, help, help my unbelief. Huh? What did the man do with the demonized son? Huh? Huh? He said, God, my, my child is not able. But Lord, help me to believe. Oh, God, help, help my unbelief. Oh, that thing will preach. Help. 
Hey, Sarah, Capadre, God bless you. I hope you're doing well, woman of God. I want you to catch it on tonight. You have to believe to receive the need. You have to believe to receive the need. If you have doubt, you will experience a drought. If you have doubt, you will experience a drought. Oh, my God, from Zion, if you would like to sow a $33 seed, a seed of faith, Say, God, restore it back to me. What have you lost? What are you getting ready to lose? Saw the $33 seed. Look in the thread and name your seed. Remember, we have prayer. See my serenity prayer at 5 a.m. If you want to sit on the anointing, oh, my God, of the third dimension. Hey, the, the dimension where prayers are answered. Then you call on every Tuesday at 5 a.m., Five, the number of favor, divine favor, divine timing in the Ford Watch. Oh, I bless you on tonight. I have to get off because I am an obedient servant. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to move the Father. It is impossible to move him. If you can share this video, share it with your family and friends. If you're just coming on, if you're just coming on, Go back and watch it from the beginning. God says the thoughts that you have concerning me, the thoughts that you have because you spend time with me, because you read your word, even those that don't spend time, he's speaking to you too. The thoughts that you're having, they come from him. So when you call unto him, he has already answered you. That's revelation. Please, if you would like to come to Ophelia on this Sunday, it starts at 5 p.m. right here at 516 East Airline Highway at Choice the Event Place. The tickets are $25. If you want to sow a seed of $25, then to God be the glory. Show sow a Joel 2 and 25 seed. All restoration seeds. 25, 33. Don't miss the oil. Don't miss the oil. Thank you so much for watching See Lost Spot. And remember, if you are doubtful, if you have doubt, you will experience a drought. But if you receive, you believe for the need, then God says, I have already done it. I've already answered you. Jeremiah 33 and 3. God bless you real good until next Thursday at 8 p.m.